Hi there, Coach Sage with sagerunning.com here with a running form tutorial. We're going to talk about lengthening your stride uh, today to build speed and efficiency, hopefully to prevent injury in your distance running endeavors. So uh, the first thing with running speed is that it is a factor of your stride length multiplied by your cadence or your stride rate. And we've done other videos. I'll link to them at the end of this video on cadence or stride rate. Uh, which usually we want over 170 steps per minute, even if you're at slower speeds like uh, 5K, 10K, or half marathon, uh, marathon moving up. But uh, you know, it's a factor of your stride length. And a lot of people ask me, you know, how could you run a marathon at 512 mile pace or you know 312 per kilometer and not have it look like you're you're all out sprinting? Well, the difference is, you know, some people may take a 1.5 meter stride, other people may take a two meter stride. And I've seen this, you know, towing the front of the starting line at the Boston Marathon, these, uh, the top, a lot of the top international runners, East Africans will run, you know, off the line at 440 mile pace or 255 per kilometer. And, you know, they have a super long stride length and it makes it look kind of effortless, but they're going at that velocity because they have a high stride, high cadence, 180 steps per minute, usually maybe 190. Uh, with a really long stride length and that's really the key is to open up your stride to be able to run faster uh, But you know, there's a couple key biomechanical Pointers that I want to point out here uh, And I think there's a lot of misinformation now on the web out there about how to increase this effectively and what you're looking for But I just want to give you a couple real key tips on how to increase your stride length in this video so the first point about opening up your stride is to get used to actually really fast running. And as a distance runner, if you're running 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, ultra marathons, uh, you're maybe not used to doing more explosive sprint exercises. And you don't have to do, you know, CrossFit. You don't have to uh, do a bunch of bounding exercises, although those will certainly help develop power. Uh, the key is to actually do what we call strides, and I'll link to our strides video at the end of this video, but essentially after an easy run, after you've warmed up and, and stretched, you do something like 4 by 80 to 100 meters, or 4 times 15 to 20 seconds, at a very fast pace where you accelerate almost into a sprint. It's not an all-out sprint though, you don't want to pull any muscles or anything, but uh, something like 90-95% top end speed, and what you find is when you're running really fast, your stride rate's probably gonna get up over maybe 200 steps per minute, but you're also gonna really open up uh, your stride with a high knee drive and a really strong back kick. And it's gonna stimulate your fast twitch muscle fibers at the neuromuscular level to be more coordinated and to iron out any form flaws that you may have. So, you know, you can't run really fast at like a sprint uh, without running with pretty good form. Uh, and you want that to translate, that sprint running form, to translate into your 5k pace into your 10k pace and marathon pace and make every other slower pace more efficient so it's it's a matter of training your uh, movement patterns at the neuromuscular level but also training your muscles to develop that kind of power and that kind of stride length uh, to translate at, at all speeds of distance running oh a final note on these strides is you don't want this to be a high-end anaerobic workout you want to relax uh, in between each 80 to 100 meter 100 yard effort you want to be able to catch your breath and uh, get back to relaxed fast running at a near sprint velocity. So this is gonna help improve your speed, as well as other traditional speed workouts. Uh, and you know we'll go into that at the end of this video on how you have to have cardiovascular strength as well to support this speed. Um, but it's really a matter of efficiency and getting used to running fast as relaxed as possible. The other key to opening up your stride, increasing stride length, is gonna be developing other biomechanical patterns, which you could do through drills, but also you know through these strides, uh, and focusing on a high knee drive, essentially. Uh, you know, the height of the knee coming up is gonna be what kind of determines uh, your stride length. And so, you know, we always say you could do a, a high knee drills, uh, that you know, I have a drills video we'll link to at the end of this video as well as a running form video that Coach Sandy and I also put together recently. Um, but the the knee lift is real key, and you see, you know, with an increase of velocity, you're going to have to think to raise that knee up at a higher level, and this is going to help you really open up uh, more height and power in your stride.
The other key part of uh, increase in stride length is going to be what we call opening up the hips. And that's really the hip flexion angle uh, that you see right there with the hip coming back. And it's all on the backswing. You don't want to focus too much on the backswing. Focus more on lifting your heel up and trying to kick your butt. Because uh, with the increase in velocity also comes a higher back kick. And it's really about opening up that hip flexion angle to increase your stride length. And you could do, uh, you know, lunges is one exercise we recommend for building strength, but also hip mobility, as well as just stretching uh, the hips in a real basic manner. Uh, this is a really good stretch right here, stretching the hip flexor, getting used to, I'll do it this way actually, that angle uh, coming back on the hips and really feeling the pull right here. I have pretty tight hip flexors, so it doesn't really help that much, but uh, that's a good way to really open up the hips, and that's gonna be really key also to hip mobility, increasing your stride length. So those are my two main tips on increasing stride length. One caveat, of course, is that, you know, you could do all these drills, you could focus on these form technique uh, strategies, but if you don't have the cardiovascular fitness, if you don't have the heart and lung development and blood flow development, it's gonna be hard to support this increased work output for running a, a long distance race, like a half marathon or marathon. So you do still have to train your cardiovascular system a lot. And the result when you see these low two hour marathon runners uh, is a lot of hard work, a lot of hard work putting in aerobic base miles and building up the heart and lungs to a really high efficient level so that they could support this workload. Cause you start running with a huge stride, a uh, huge power output, it's going to be hard to sustain after three or four minutes. So imagine racing a mile or a kilometer all out. Uh, you're going to be breathing, huffing and puffing uh, pretty hard. And so it's all relative uh, kind of to that. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's no quick, easy fix to success in running super fast. But I hope these technique drills do help you run more efficiently, uh, get more enjoyment out of running. And you definitely can make uh, little improvements with these techniques and ironing out your running form. Again, uh, subscribe to this channel for more running form tips, nutrition tips, following along uh, with the Sage running training philosophy. Also, uh, be sure to check out the linked videos uh, with our running form tutorial, uh, drills video we'll link to, as well as uh, other uh, techniques with cadence uh, and stride rate uh, that you could look into as well. But thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe uh, for more videos. Check out our coaching website at sagerunning.com. Again, I really appreciate all the shares on social media, all the thumbs up uh, and comments below. So uh, really appreciate it. Hope your running's going well and stay tuned for more VO2 Max Productions.